special guest.
if anybody's going to host this show, it will be me. You might bite up. It is. That's Kale. That's Kale Stevens. Didn't I punch that guy in the face a few weeks ago? I don't, I don't know. Possibly. I don't know. Many people have punched. That's Kip Stevens. This is Kale Stevens. Mm. 
Oh, and Tristy on Kyle. Off the interruption by Kale Stevens. And now just driving the former champs lower back into the apron. But for Tristy on here, I, I was going to say before, the expression goes, might have bit off more than he could chew here. But right now, in control against Bryce. I hope he watches his head here. It's a low ceiling, and uh, way too long there, Clash. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looking for that choke slam. Tristian caught him and sends him into the post. That does not feel good. That will separate your shoulder right on the spot here. You know, a lot of good hair in this match. There's Bryce, there's Tristian. Let's go, bring it down there. That's it. Are you going to say it? No, no, no okay. that's it. That's, that's it? Okay, that's it. I was just saying, like, there's a third piece of hair in, in this match, but I guess we'll just center on Bryce and Tristan. Oh, there's a DDT by the rookie here at Creative Pro. Tristan Kyle, so far the biggest match of his life. And there's a quick kick out by Bryce. Me? Only a one count, but that DDT, that will spike you. That will put even the biggest down. So good on Bryce for kicking out the one former Creative Pro champion. Bryce, the longest reigning Creative Pro champion when that oh, reign came to an man, end. Bryce. Oh! This year against Aaron Rourke, who will be in action tonight, defending his Creative Pro Championship. His first title defense, and it will be against the upcoming Nick Rumble as the Rocker Boy. But before we get to that, Bryce Donovan in a world of trouble against the rookie Christian. Big, beautiful drop kick, now leading to Bryce being choked by those ropes. Christian utilizing that. Tristian outside leg and a kick out by Bryce. Sometimes we see Tristian alongside Will Strauss, but Strauss nowhere to be seen. Hopefully he doesn't get dropped. Oh, this Tristian, he likes to throw a bit of a fit when he doesn't get his weight. You saw that already just off that yeah. last kick. I could uh, definitely throw back to you guys gonna do that. I deserve to be the next You can't be throwing hissy fits in the ring, Tristian, against the former longest reigning Creative Pro champion. Speaking of Creative Pro Champions, I have a two-time Creative Pro Champion on my right right now, I'm Johnny Clash. Oh, that's me. Yep, that's you. Don't forget about the tag team. I was just don't getting forget. to it. I was not. Don't forget the first drive. This isn't about This isn't about oh! As Bryce trying to fight back into this one after Tristian took advantage on the outside of the ring. Trying to go back to that choke slam. Oh! Tristian with another knee to the gut. Second time he stifled that choke slam. But now it's Tristian going shoulder first. Into the post. The tables have turned here. Bryce once again calling for that shirt. Now Bryce is going to have a little bit more time here. Tristian feeling the effects of going left shoulder first, still hurting. Bryce blocks a right and gives a right of his own. Make it two, make it three. Big rights. Irish whip counter by Tristian Kyle. Nobody home on the clothesline. Bryce picking up steam and flying there it off is. the ropes. How many times have we seen that work to perfection? And now it's Tristian being bounced up and down off the mat. Bryce, oh, down goes Tristian Kyle. A lot of elevation there for the champ as he looks what to put the finishing touches on the match. Tristian goes up, the straps go down. Yeah, I thought that, that was a good one. A good one, yeah. Think of that on the spot. Uh, yeah, just kind of nice. Is Is the third time the charm. I think this might be the third. Yeah, he's been going for it a lot. And again, wow. Tristian scouted it, but I think he hurt his leg on the way down. <laughs> Tristian holding on to that left knee. Bring back Tristian a lot of pain. Don't trust him. I can't get up. Your home run 
swing Two, and you hit three, one to the warning track. And finally, oh. down goes Tristian. Oh. Cover. Oh. That's it. I guess he was inspired by the uh, certain other creative program. Tristian Kyle poked the bear with a low blow during the shook ball. Tried to play a little possum and catch everyone slacking. But his home run swing was not good enough as the former champion stands tall. Son, two guys you're very familiar. Yeah, Leo Sparrow, not. GKM, going up against the most professional wrestler, Brian Myers, and making his first appearance in over 10 years, Chris Chetty. I love this. Let's go now, work. You know, Let's I have my gripes with the Birds of the Sun here. You can't take away what they do as a tag team, and you're about to see it here. Leo Sparrow in here right now with his trainer, with one of the best out there today. And they're kind of matching, too. You know what they planned it with the black and yellow? I doubt it. Always a treat to see Brian Myers back here in the dojo. Leo Sparrow learning from the man he's got in a hammer lock right now. And Brian's going to try to swing his way out of it. There we go. Nice Byron's carry. And Burgess, son, you were uh, what's an ally. What, what happened? What you and the Burgess, son? Uh, I don't really want to get into it now. I don't want to take it's away personal. from this match. We okay. saw it a few weeks ago. They got in my face for some reason. They decided to get in my face during TK Wilde's match. And you know, I just don't appreciate it. I I tried my best to elevate these guys, and that's what they give me. No respect for their veterans. No respect for their veterans. As you can see right here. Yes. The men who stepped before them. As they're cacawing again. 
Be interesting to see what happens when ECW original Chris Jenny gets in to the ring for some action. Like I mentioned, first time in over 10 years for Chetty. And there's a little piece from the apron as Leo Sparrow is a punching bag right now. Was Leo Sparrow in kindergarten 10 years ago? Possibly. And here comes Chris Chetty. He was left back a bunch. Oh! Kick right to the spine. And Leo's just being tossed around like a rag doll right now. Double suplex, that should be easy. Nope. There we go. That was the first time Chetty hit a mat for a long time there. <laughs> yeah. Even though he was the one on the, the giving end of that suplex. Here's GKM, the powerhouse of the team. You got the youth going up against the veteran right now. And the youth might have the experience. They've been in the ring a lot more than Chetty. Man, the crowd is hot right now. Chris Hot Shetty just for frostbite. Look, Chris Shetty whipping him around. Watch that arm bar. But GKM getting a hold of that bottom rope vintage. Chris Shetty. Those kicks clash working early for Chris Shetty. There Those we go. Kick. Beautiful. That might do Leo's got to get in there if he goes for the pin right now. Leo's might want to break this one up. And GKM, impressively so, kicking out. Almost turning the phoenix into ashes. See what I did there? That was good. That, that's that was another good. good pun by you. You're on fire today. Yeah. Right now the birds of the sun. Beautiful. Furthest Nate. from the sun right now. They're taking a big oh. And the kicks are just landing one after another for Chris Chetty. And there's a kick out by GKM. Should we say the educated feet of Chris Chetty? And GKM spun around, dropped to the mat below. Hey, Brian Myers. Myers. Top. Leo Sparrow, he's just a little thorn in here. He's a little pest. He's like a little rodent. I like seeing that guy. Oh, and yep, there's the pest preoccupying the ref. And GKM dumps Brian Myers and now Leo, the legal man. Broccoli Buster. I hate this move. There's the Broccoli Buster. Bringing down all 20 pounds at the prime <laughs> I just, I just didn't, would not want Leo's junk in my face. For the <laughs> you want the little Brussels sprouts? In the past, when it was like Tori Wilson doing the bro Broccoli Buster, it's Leo Sparrow. Okay, anyway, <laughs> Leo's power working the arm here. Brian Myers wearing him down. Brian fighting out of him. And Brian trying to work his way up after Leo getting involved on the outside, causing the distraction. Brian trying to flip over Sunset. And Leo reaching over he gets GKM. An illegal pin here as Brian did not see the tag behind him. Chris Steve needs to take control here. He's letting the birds of the sun just run rampant here while he's not even letting Chetty commit to help his partner. And multiple times there's back turn, but now GKM trying to get the win, but Brian Myers uh, out at two. I mean, you're a hockey fan just like I am, Jordan. You got to call the same stuff for one team that you do for the other. And I don't know. I'm questioning the ref Steve here. You, know, you can't have one team liking you and one team hating you. You want both teams liking you or both teams hating you. Right now, uh, Ref Steve not really helping out Brian and Chris Chetty. But man, these birds are just wearing down Brian. Do a smart job chopping that ring in half, not letting Brian go anywhere near his corner. And he pops right back up into a shining wizard by Leo Sparrow. And Myers kicks out. He's better off just staying down there. Taking off that beautiful shirt, Brian Myers. Get it now, ProWrestlingTees.com. Hope he throws it over here. Now he's going to use it. Oh, come on. To choke, Ref Steve's got to get control here. Leo Sparrow, shirt across the throat, mocking the crowd here in Hicksville. It's always, it's always, the vegans, they're always one to just throw everything in your face, literally and figuratively. 
As Leo's power now, chest over chest here, and Myers punching out there. Hang on, Brian's hair is down. Brian's trying to get to that corner, but again, the bird's just chopping him down. As GKM and Leo, impressive right now. Trying to get a huge win and perhaps get back into the tag team title picture as Myers kicks out again. Those shots right to the kidney. Oh, right to the, the kidney. Yes, that, I think yeah. that's the kidney, right? That can't feel good. Brian really needs to make a tag here to Chenny. And look at GKM wisely with his back to Chris Chetty. Brian now has to face Leo and work his way around and across to his corner, but he's just whipped back by GKM, the Phoenix. Oh, now he's just showing off. GKM, a very accomplished tag team wrestler, not just here with Leo Sparrow, the Bird of the Sun, but Wrestle Pro, just to name one, alongside the Ace of Space Academy. And then oh! took too much time. Brian caught him with the super kick, but emptied the tank with that. Just mocking Brian Myers and eating his words. Come on. Brian, this is his first oh, opening Leo. since Leo got involved on the apron. Here we go, Leo's Leo. in, Chetty's in. Chris Chetty legal, finally back into the action. Big shot to the head. And another one took his head off. Now let's see how much Chris Jetty's got in the tank. First match in over 10 years. Let's see how the ring endurance is looking. Lost his balance there, but got the job done. Into the cover and a kick out. GKM still feeling it from that wicked clothesline. Wait a minute. Brian back in, sending GKM out of here. Finally, the two on one in favor of Chris Chetty and Brian Myers. Down goes Leo Sparrow. Chetty, cover. Brian's gonna watch his back, because out of nowhere comes GKM. Right at the last second. And again, Brian has to dispose of GKM, and then Leo. Come on, Brian, let's go. Like a little tick on your back. And then Brian oh! shoots off the ropes, cuts him in half with a spear. He speared him into next week. And they finally put him away. Brian over the top. Down goes GKM. Good night, Leo Sparrow. Chris Chetty, welcome back. Welcome back. Come on. was doom and gloom early on, but once Brian was able to get Chris Shetty in, it changed the whole match as this makeshift team picks up the win. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one ball. One ball! Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by Sebastian Yeah. 
Put it on, Ryan. Ryan over there. 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 Ryan the current Creed Pro general manager. What's that? As Forza gets a shot right to the back of the neck, a vicious strike by Ariel and Nixon. Johnny Cornish is still looking for his hat. Where did it go like that? What? Okay. You already have a hat on, so you're going to put that over your actual hat. I'm a Forza fan. And you have the headset. You know, it's going to fit. Ariel and Nixon, Nat, Nat out, and Aaron and Nat Castle in, the Latina Spice. Both these women have moved on in the women's uh, championship oh, tournament. Look at the strength here. As they might have a collision course down the line to determine the oh. new women's champion. Before we get to that, Nat Castle gets plummeted back down to earth and a kick out. Just the pure strength of Gabby Forza we've seen time and time again. We've seen these two go at it time and time again and never fails. Here we go, Zuleika now in the ring. Let's see what these two can do together. Zuleika and Gabby Forza both new on the free pro scene, both rookies. Cool's call there. Ariel Nixon looks on the Sebastian Moore. Like you said, slithering around the ring over here. Always got to keep an eye out for Sebastian He's going to get involved, whether he gets in the match or he starts talking smoke from the outside. Beautiful drop to him. Lake unfortunately got knocked out in the first oh! round of the Women's Championship Tournament. A beautiful shining wizard trying to pull away Nat Castle early and a kick out. Now this would be rough for Nat Castle. She's moving on to the second round of that tournament. If she were to lose right now, confidence killer, momentum killer. Crowd chanting for Zulia, and rightfully so. Wait a minute. Flash, look behind you, Lake. Look behind you, oh, Lake. Yep, yeah, there we go. So that's your more. Yeah, he's hiding. And the slight distraction pays dividends for Nat Castle. And now she's gonna throw Zuleika shoulder first into the corner. And just like that, Amor gets involved and it works out. Oh, and then heartbreaker. Nat Castle likes going with those arms. She's tapped out many already in her young career with that arm bar. And she's looking to plant the seed early. If she puts that arm bar in right now, it might be game over. Forza would probably have to hop in and break that up immediately. And then look who's right there as Zuleika's being choked out on the middle rope. Oh, and again, this. again! That's not cool. Ref Steve with his back turn. As usual. We, is he the only one we got tonight? Oops. Unfortunately. Oh, look at that senton! Right in the middle of the spine. That will cave you in. Cover on Zuleika and she kicks out. A step up senton. Vicious. Wow. Oh and also, not only with Nat Castle anymore, you gotta watch out for Sebastian Amor on the outside. She's got her, she got that Latina spice, literally the spice. She used it to win her first round matchup in the Women's Championship Tournament. I don't see it right now. Adding it to something, but now Ariel and Nix gets involved. Legal man, another vicious side. Second time tonight, we've seen Ariel and Nix with that gruesome forearm. Laika and a kick out. Gabby Forza is about to launch herself over that top rope. She wants to get involved. That arm has to be dangling by a thread right now. One wrong move and it could all be over. Trying to use that good right arm, but Ariel and Nix, it doesn't take much, it's just one shot. Just straight power behind these strikes, chopping them down. Oh, the cocky pin. That's just blatant disrespect. That's just like a leverage here for another kick out. No Vargas tonight, so Ariel and Nix for now is alone. I don't see Pat Fitzpatrick or Jay Macias either. So for now, don't, I can't see the other three getting involved. It's going to worry about, as always, Sebastian Amore on the outside. 
But take a look at Matt Castle. Take a look at Ariel and Nix. Neither are breathing heavy. Both of them are still just fresh and ready to go. They're tagging in and out. They are just wearing down Zaleika. Abby Fours is fresh on the outside of the ring. Once she can make that tag, hopefully, who knows? This is going to be an explosion. Nothing she can do right now. She's just chopping at the pit to get involved. But a very methodical approach and pace by Nat Castle and Ariella Nix. But now look at this. Any chance Nat and Ariella get to put the bed reps back to her with giving extra cheap shots, they take it and it's working. As again, they're stopping a hole in that corner. Again, Clash, second time they're going to the throat of Zuleika, make it a third time now. They're trying to cut off the airway, so when they do go for those quick pins, they could sneak a free count in there. It isn't done often, but it is possible. Look at not much left in the tank here. Ariel threw a little closer, but it's just like you said, Clash, they're just cutting the wind out of her sails. There's not much left in the tank right now for Zuleika as they're going to the arm again, that left arm, cover, and a kick out. Abby Forza trying to get the crowd to the hopes to like out a little bit. Not giving up yet, she is fighting. Zuleika, going to work back from the mat down but then chop at the waist and back into enemy territory she goes. Ariel and Nix, corner to corner, big splash, looking for a second, oh, and needs oh. an elbow. A sign of life from Zuleika. That castle also eating an elbow. Drop toe hold, best chance, go. best chance for Zuleika. Can she get to Gabby Forza with a Nat Castle? Not even a legal man gets booted off. And here comes Gabby Forza. Same before. Finally, oh! able to get the fresh body in, in Gabby Forza. She is as fresh as you can be, barely in this match. Gabby they were Forza wearing down Zalika. Yet to be pinned or submitted here at Karina Pro as she catches Matt Castle like it's nothing. Full away oh. slam. Beautiful. Your homie, the Nomi, is fired up right now at Frostbite. We're going to melt the ice here. Big splash! Gabby Forza for the win and a kick out. There it is. Sebastian Amar. Super happy on the outside of the I don't know if he'll be happy much longer. Gabby has that wicked spear she goes through. That an electric chair position. Zuleika now the legal man. see here. Oh no, Ariel and Nick's getting in. Ariel and Nick's from the outside. Look, they were setting something up, but it's got to be put on hold. As the lake is still the legal man on the outside, nobody home for the Nomi on the spear. She goes face first into the buckle. Forza. Oh, Olympic slam. Look at the straight. By Ariel and Nix, but Zuleika, legal man of the match. Kick to the knee, rocked off that spinning lariat. Eats the mat. And here comes that. Going to the arm. Going to the arm bar. Wait, but gets rolled up. Zuleika almost got one, but a nice roll out there by Nat Castle. Zuleika, Fireman's carry, and look who's getting oh, involved. There he is. It's the best oh. Moore. Breaking the eyes, already on one arm. Going to that arm bar. Amor getting involved, using oh. the eyes to get out of the predicament, and, that's it. and Ari a tap out. Ariella Nix holding back Gabby Forza from getting in the ring. And what a shocker. Another Nat Castle victory, thanks to Sebastian Amor. As usual. Nat Castle continues to roll and push her way in the women's division 
making a claim in that women's championship tournament. No, no, Sebastian Amor's a mic. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Nobody has to this.
might stick. That might stick. Actually, this one might stick more than the Walmart. I think I saw Matt Castle smirk a little bit. Clash, are we getting an impromptu match? We are. I think we are. What a treat. And Sebastian and Warrior, you can't let your frustration get the better of you on this. I think it will. I'd say I'm seeing my favorite member of the acclaim here, but Billy Gunn is not here tonight, but Max would do. So we have an impromptu match, Sebastian Amore against Platinum Max. And a frustrated lockup to start yeah. things up. And uh, Sebastian Amore just got humiliated no. in front of his girl, no less. No. The crowd has a new name for him. No. Two new names, you pick and choose. You know what they say? Simpin ain't easy, and he's about to learn the hard way. He tries to barrel through with a shoulder tackle, and... That's not. Too little, I told you you're too little. <laughs> oh, going to that foot though, Max Bastion. Third time backed him up, and then Sebastian knocked down like, like a train ran over him. Shoulder press, strict presser. There we go, Sebastian. I have been on the other side of those power moves from Max Caster one too many times. I feel so bad for Sebastian over right now. Sebastian, how's it feel now instead of being on the outside running your mouth and being a distraction? Now you're in the ring. This is so fun. Oh, oh and Max oh. flying. That castle better watch out. So Sebastian just getting off the train tracks helped him out. Oh, oh, yeah, this is, uh, Max got to watch his feet. Whoa, big superplex. Sebastian Amore out of nowhere. Bringing Max wow. to the toy department and bringing him down. Sebastian, quick cover and a quicker kick in. Butch Gordon. I was hoping you'd get it. I was an owner. <laughs> was, I am. DSK will get it. The new nickname for Sebastian Amore. But just like, it, you see similarities in both Sebastian and Nat Castle's game here. Nat earlier in the women's tag match was choking anyone she could on that middle rope. Sebastian doing the exact same thing to Platinum Max. Interesting turn here. We were only we were expecting Platinum Max to be here, let alone a match. But now because of it, Max is behind the eight ball right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know why that's happening. Yeah, well, I, oh, he has, a, he has a wrist tattoo. He's still in New York. Yeah, I know, right? Unless they're Met fans. He is? Don't put me. Well, Amore has the Yankee tattoo on his form. Yeah, they're Met, they're Met fans. Yeah, they're Met fans. I feel bad for them. Oh, big shot from Max. Max just powering his way back up, and then a knee right to the gut. Flips Max over, then a more drop kick in a seated position to Caster. Sebastian Amore into the cover, and Max this time just after two kicking out. Come on, you want some Max? Huh? You want some Amore every week? Huh? So credit to Sebastian Amore was not expecting a match, and out of nowhere comes Max Caster from the back, and he's put up a good fight. As I say it now, he's, take, he's taking some licks. After uh, the abuse the crowd gave in the beginning of his match, before he even started, he had to try to His frustration has fueled him so far, successfully so. Last time we saw Max was on Cap TV Live, where he entered an open challenge from Dante Drago, and Dante picked up his biggest win yet. Great match. Yeah, a great match, knocking off Max Caster. He's got a, got a nose there, yep. But even Sebastian has been out of position for quite some time with an injury, so we haven't seen him in the ring too often either. Oh, he's going scissors up the nostrils. Watch your nose. This is 
smash and first match back. I just combined the words there. First match back in quite some time. And credit where credit's due, holding his own, but maybe not for long. Cash with a kick to the gut. Famous sir, nobody holds. One of my favorite moves. Spinning neck breaker by Sebastian. Anytime it looks like Caster might be getting back in this one. Oh, more. Puts him back on the mat in a kick out. Sebi Amor really holding his own, especially against someone as decorated as Max Caster, former creative world champion. Former tag team champion as well. Similar accolades, do you? Similar, similar, similar. He, he works. <laughs> Oh! And gets his head taken off by Caster. Make it twice. Big, juicy clothesline. Caster Irish whip, get a bounce of right off. Oh! And flip him over. He almost went right through the roof here at Creative Pro. Atomic drop. That's not going to feel good in the yeah. Reverse atomic drop. Get each side. Go for three. Sebastian does not want to go three for three here with the atomic drop. Wheel barrel. Roll through. Roll through. Amor is double feet. Double stomp. Right over the chest of Max. Impressive counter. First, stomach first, and that might have been his window, and he just crashed through it. Might be the beginning of the end. Famous sir by Platinum Max, but we're not done yet. Clash, I think you've been on the receiving end of these, right? Fortunately, yes. Yep. Mic drop. That's gonna do it. Thank you and goodbye, Sebastian Amor. Thanks for coming in tonight. So Platinum Max returns to Free and Pro, finds some love in the crowd with some uh, bouquet of flowers, and knocks off the always lovable Sebastian Amor. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. One fall! And it is for the Creator Pro Tag Team Championship! Yeah. The choosing first, the challengers. They are the team of Dante Trango is the best. Tag team title action here at Frostbite 2. The reuniting Jack Tomlinson, Dante Drago, Vlogbro University, DBU, going up against the champions here, Cap. Adrenaline Express, Eric James, and VSK. I love all of these guys in the ring. Great talents here at Creative Pro. One of the first time I think Adrenaline Express are uh, teaming this week. But I am very excited for this matchup here. Maybe they're Ranger mini. fans. They might be Ranger fans, right? You're not very nice a lot of times. Most of the time, you're pretty mean. Eric's also more handsome. 
How you doing? Good to see, see you. they're nice. Why are they booing them? They're being nice to us. Wow. All right, match underway. Tag titles on the line. Why are they being so mad to be, mean to BSK? The crowd, why do they think BSK guys, hear it? He's coming to Applebee's. Yeah! Dollaritas. Now, Dante Drago was scheduled to have a singles match for the Creed Pro Championship after his big win last time on Cap TV Live against Platinum Max. But Jack Tomlinson, out of nowhere, stepped in, reuniting VBU, and said, no, no, let's go for the tag team titles. So, interesting, Dante Drago, Drago said, okay, let's do it. And now we have the tag team title match. And another thing interesting here, Eric James was one, once with VBU when they right. all held the titles. VBU were the former tag team champions, and Eric James, a former Creator Pro champion. All the gold was with them at one point. And now the tables have turned, Eric James being the tag team champion. You have gold all over this ring, not just the current champions. VBU as well being former tag team title holders. Eric James, former Creator Pro TV champion as well as world champion. As VSK is all over Dante Drago right now. As Eric James, first triple crown Creator Pro yes. champion. Grand Slam. Oh, that's a whole. That's, never mind. I'm an idiot. That's four. <laughs> he's got to win the Mayhem medal. Yeah, he's got to win the Mayhem medal. Yeah. Yeah. Then he can be the Grand Slam champion. Well, look at that teamwork. Yeah, the teamwork is just unpre- These guys went a long time in between tagging, and ever since they got back together, they've been on point. Dante has no idea where the point Pinsky. is right now. All Eric James and VSK as Dante has to kick out at two. Dante has no idea where he's at. I like the new getup, the uh, Adrenaline Express wears, but I do miss the lightning bolts. I do miss Eric James coming out singing. Yeah, I could do it. I, I much prefer CPA singing. Yes, yeah, no, you can't argue that. CPA will be in action, though, in our main event. Eight-man tag. He's still the leading man here. Oh, wait, that's Jack, actually. But I think Eric's more of a leading man. Look at him. Look at him. Chiseled from stone. He does know how to sing. So just like Dante and VSK shook hands, let's see if Eric James and Jack, let's see if Tom with the Joel. Whoa, wait a minute. Jack, that wasn't nice. What do you expect from yeah, Dante, Jack Tomlinson Dante's at this point? kind of puzzled at that, but I guess. You know, it's a tag team title match. I guess you got to do what you got to do. Dante's not happy with it, but. Wow. Who's going on a diet? You say Eric James is going on a diet? I don't think he could diet anymore. I know, he's great physical condition. But Jack, nobody home on that swinging right hand, but able to hold on to that top rope. Big and turns line. around, drop to the mat, make it twice. Here we go. Oh, right in Who's front of count? We got, a, we got a front row seat here, Clash. Oh, he's going to make him work for it. There it is. Ten beats. All land. Irish whip countered. I don't know how Jack is still functioning right now after that. It barely is. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Body. Look Beautiful. at the air time there as Jack kicks out. Hey, Jack wanted this. Dante was supposed to be, supposed to be in a singles title match tonight, but Jack wanted to get back with VBU and get the tag team titles. Coming out of nowhere, but all right. If I was him, I might have gone for a warm-up match instead. Yeah. You're going up against a veteran team that ever they've ever since they've reunited in Adrenaline Express, they've been clicking on all cylinders, knocked off Midlife Express and CPA and Tibbs to win the titles. So Jack's kind of throwing himself to the wolves right now. As Jack is taking a beating, Dante trying to get in to help out. Jay, Jack rakes the eyes oh. and throws VSK into Eric James. Tomlinson, middle rope, sling blade. He didn't get all of it there, but he got just enough to put VSK down. But not enough to keep VSK down as our tag team title match rolls on. You had to correct me there, huh? <laughs> I had to put you, you in your to. place there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Someone has to. I, I guess. have to bury you on commentary. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, the blatant choke with the ropes. Jack just right in front of the crowd here in Hicksville, draping VSK. Dante, Dante's pleading with Jack, telling him not to do that. Dante and VSK are cool, so you know this was a competitive, friendly fight for the tag team titles, but Jack is turning this into something different here. Now Dante, the legal man, Jack, will able to catch a beater, be, uh, breather, he's taken a beating before. As they're working together, Dante almost caught his, he kind of did caught his ankle on that bottom rope, works all right, and a kick out by VSK. I think Dante has to dig a little deeper here if he wants to compete against someone. I, want, I don't know if they're friends, but they are friendly. They appear to be friendly here, but he has to dig deeper if he wants these tag team titles. Again. We've seen Dante has been able to knock off some of the best here at Cap. Like I mentioned the last time Cap TV came live here in Hicksville, it was an open challenge answered by Platinum Max, and Dante won it clean as could be. One, two, three, center of the ring. But working into that beautiful abdominal stretch. You got Jack shouting orders from the outside. VSK, yeah. I don't know. How can he try to maneuver out of this one? Jack try, again trying to get involved. Jack and Dante don't seem to be on the same page this match. They really don't. And it, it's working against them. Now Dante gets launched. VBU is just not seeing eye to eye right now. Jack trying to grab that hand, use extra leverage on the abdominal stretch, but Dante's just not having it. He wants a clean match. And they're, they're bickering right now as Jack's the legal man. I'll say this from a guy who was in a tag team that was in the same situation. The bickering, the fighting during the match, it gets you absolutely nowhere. But still working together well here as just like Jack dropped Dante on top before, Dante returns the favor. But Dante's not the legal man. Jack too busy on the outside. I think Jack had some of those smelling salts. Yep. You know, we got a little whiff of that when Dante came out, but and the bickering is now leading to miscommunication. Neither guy knew who was the legal man. Jack's too busy on the outside. And there's st Clash there still not seeing eye to eye. So I, I know it's been a while since BB was tagged. And Dante was not expecting to tag with Jack this match, but these two are not on the same page right now. Maybe it's jealousy. Maybe Jack, the leading man of Creative Pro, is a little bit jealous of all that Dante has done without him. He's trying to kind of ride the coattails here. He threw himself into this. Wasn't even supposed to be a tag match. Dante's supposed to be on his own. And Jack just threw himself into the frame. Jack, a former host of Cap TV, back in the day. A long time ago. Yes. How far? Yeah, I think before I even showed up. Yeah. So I started calling matches here. I say get him. You get him. Get him. Even when they're tagging in and out, it just it, something looks off between these two. But despite all this, we're talking about they're in command right now of VSK. The offense is there. The chemistry is not. It's not there. Eric James trying to get the crowd rolling for VSK, trying to get everybody hyped up, trying to make that tag and get in the ring, the freshest man out there right now. VBU being at odds for the moment, it looks like in the match, but they are taking it to one half of the tag team champions in VSK. Here we go, VSK fighting back. Shut down by Drago. Dante just chopping him down. Eric James beside himself on the apron. Just trying to get back into this as VSK's taking a beating. I don't like this cockiness from Jack Tomlinson we're seeing here. Maybe like earlier this year, years prior, we would see Dante feeding into this type of attitude from Jack. But ever since Dante's gotten solo and gotten away from Jack and trying to be the best he can be. He's gotten away from these antics that we're seeing by Jack tonight. You know, it just gets you nowhere. What Jack is doing gets you absolutely nowhere in a match and in your career in general. And I don't know, I think he's gonna come back to bite his words. They're doing their best to keep VSK away from Eric James. 
Eric able to flip over, should I say BSK able to flip over. Jack now in the ring, trying to work another double team. Jack, middle rope, big clothesline. Jack, cover to win the gold, and a kick out. I'll say this, they still do know how to work as a team when they have to. And they were this close to becoming tag team champions once again. And then Jack taking a cheap shot wow. at Eric James. Eric James trying to tell Ref Steve, like, what, bring the attention of what Jack's doing. I think Jack said that's what larger than life means to me. Nothing, I guess. Or he found out that Eric likes well done burgers. I don't know, either or. And Qu Dante and Jack. And I'm, I'm amazed that they're able to, they've been able to keep VSK down. But as I'm saying it, VSK is saying, I'm going to go to the. And take your eye off the prize here, guys. Too busy fighting each other. And you've left the door wide open for VSK. But now Dante, back in the ring. Set flying. Oh, oh, oh and he oh. landed on that knee. Vicious win. Oh, and another Jack one. just had his jaw taken off. Dante hitting his knee hard on the apron on the way down. Finally, VSK gets the tag. Eric James, the legal man. There it is. Eric James is on fire here. Uh, Dante, we might not see him for a long time. That was a vicious landing for Drago. As BSK, or should I say Eric James, just took Jack's head off with that running knee. What are we going to see here? Tiger Bomb. Tiger Bomb, beautifully executed as popping out of it is Jack Tomlinson. Here we go, I'm getting fired up. I feel like I had those smelling salts again. The tables have been turned against VBU. Is Jack trying to roll through it? Jack trying to steal one, trying to get the title. Close one there. But now, how is Dante still back in this ring? Ooh, and he's, he's, out he's out of the ring. He's, yep, he's out of the ring now. I'm just glad to see him walking on uh, two knees. Yeah. As Tomlinson's gonna dispose of VSK. Kick to the gut. We can have new champs here. Drops him. VSK out of the ring. Wow. And a kick out. VSK nowhere to be found to try to break that one up. That is I as thought close he had, as you can get. I thought he had Eric James there. VBU about to add to their accolades. VSK wiped out on the outside. Eric James... Flat down, center of the ring, and Jack Tomlinson smelling blood. Jack getting the turn. Jack ripping the turn buckle off. What? Oh, he ripped the pad off the the back part. Yeah. yeah. But wait, no, wait, Jack. Wait, wait, wait. Refs preoccupied fixing the turnbuckle. Jack with the title. Oh, look at this. Dante saying, this is not what we do anymore. And then Jack, with the, he got him with the belt. He got him with the belt. Oh. And Eric James kicked out. I was about to be very upset but Eric James kicking out. Jack having the wherewithal. Tomlinson milliseconds away from stealing the tag team titles and he's making a scene. That might have been purely instinct by Eric James. He has to be on Dream Street. One, one of the great boy bands of the 90s. He got us those. We got to do it together. No, 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 no. I believe, man. I leave me to you. When I tell you to do something, you do something. Jack 
throwing that in his face after all they've been through together. Dante giving up a cap title shot for this yeah. match, for Jack. To throw that in Dante's face. Are you kidding me, Jack? And now Dante's fighting demons right now. Is Jack... Is Jack leaving? Dante, it, it's an angel on one on one shoulder, the devil on the other. But he's looking at that gold. He's looking at the cap tag team titles. And then oh! it's friendly fire. <laughs> friendly fire. Eric James throws Jack Holy into shit. harm's Holy way. Shit. Holy shit! Holy shit! And Drago might have just signed his death sentence. Here he is at the, the mercy adrenaline. of the champions. Dante with nowhere to go, no one for help. Good night. Adrenaline Drago. Express, planting Drago, have retained the tag team titles. You are your winners and still the Adrenaline Express, still your tag team champions, but another conversation that has to be had. What does this mean now? Not just for VBU as a tag team, but like the friendship, the, the relationship, all these years coming up with the business together of Jack Tomlinson and Dante Drago. Sometimes the good guys win and the bad guys lose. Drago the whole time, he was, he kept, I'm trying to do it the right way. I, I, this is not a side of him, any, this, you know, that past is in the past, what he, what, what he once was. He's trying to do the right thing. Dante, shake my hand. Vias came only calling for Dante to shake his hand. I got Jack trying to pull back Dante. Don't let this guy brainwash you, bro. Jack's storming out. Jack is seething right now. On Dante Drago. Just two different mindsets, two different philosophies on how to approach this industry colliding. And what does this now mean? For Jack Tomlinson and Dante Drago. The best champion this place has ever seen. The Pro Championship! When the bell rings, a man in command of the action, senior creative pro wrestling official, Mr. Steve Dumay. Introducing first. Hailing from North Belmore, New York, weighing 200 pounds, this is the Walker Boy, Nick Brown! What, did you bring your whole family today or something? And introducing his opponent, Hailing from his throne, it's Gentlemen, the Creed Pro Championship is on the line here at Frostbite 2. Johnny Clash to my right, Jordan DeLuciano will be on the call. We're the double champ, the Creed Pro Champion, the dime piece Aaron Rourke, also the Chaotic Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, will put that title on the line. Our Creed Pro Championship against the up and coming Rocker Boy, Nick Robles. What an opportunity for the Rocker Boy here after winning the Halloween costume. Battle Royal and getting his shot. 
Rocker Boy eliminated Liam Davis in the finale of the costume rumble. Liam Davis had some harsh words and a harsh beating for Nick Robles after the match, saying he wanted to guide him in his future. He wanted to lead him the way, but kind of did that in a way of, I'm going to beat you up and I'm going to show you the way by beating you up. I don't know. You know Liam Davis pretty well. He hasn't left Robles alone since. No. But he's got to put Liam Davis behind him. This is the biggest match of his life right now here at Creative Pro. Aaron Rourke, first title defense after knocking off Bryce Donovan, our former longest reigning Creative Pro champion. Aaron Rourke, a former Creative Pro TV champion as well. Also won the Chaotic Wrestling Panoptic title. Currently the Chaotic Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. I have to tell you this though, for Nick Robles, that first time you're going for the Creative Pro Championship, you are full of butterflies before you enter that curtain. You, your stomach just drops when your music hits. It is a feeling unlike any other. Chan might be uh, done for the night. He's saying, I don't even need to be here. He might be. Uh, it's, 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 it's Aaron Rourke. It's all mind games. It's the war outside the ring before you even lock horns. These are all mind games from Aaron Moore. This is why he's the champion. He knows what he's doing. He's been in, in and out of the ring, the veteran in this match. Reason why he's a double champ inside of this company and out. Think about the battle he had not too long ago at Madhouse with Bryce Donovan. His battle with Effie. He came onto the scene kind of like Nick Robles did. Both young, both upstarters going right after the champion. Right now for Nick Robles, it's Aaron. For Aaron, it was me. Hey Johnny Clash, you have been in many of these matches defending and winning your Creed Pro Championship. So you know what it's like to be in Nick Robles' situation as the guy gunning for the championship, and you know what it's like to be in the dime piece, the veteran that's been there, done that, defending the goal. But Nick Robles just looks focused. Look at this power. Look at the strength. Amateur wrestling background for Nick Robles. That's right. Just, just like Cap Legend TG3. He did make an appearance at a recent Cap Live show. Crowd went berserk. There it is, that front face like the Gator Roll. Yeah, he's just ragdolling the champion right now. I don't think the dime piece expected anything of this. Quick cover and a kick out. Yeah, I don't think Aaron Rourke can prepare for a style like this. Nick can hit you from any direction, any style. We could see an upset here tonight. This young upstart could be the, just one of the youngest cap champions ever. When you're in the ring with the dime piece, he already showed all signs of it before the mental aspect. He won't just wear you down phys physically wise, because he needs a big shoulder tackle from the challenger. He'll get in your head, he'll trash talk you, he'll grab you by the eyes, he'll bite you. He's an animal at times oh. in that ring. Nice flip counter there. And a roll through by the champion. Trying to get one quick. Robles' his shoulders not down, but a quick counter back. And a kick out. Should I say you roll out? Can't get that hip toss. But Robles can. No, but Aaron Rourke showing that he's a veteran here, using those, those fancy maneuvers against Robles, and even there, just ducking that drop kick. Beautiful kick to the face of the rocker boy. You see on the back, you got tape, two strands going down the middle there. Let's see if any time the dime piece meets that mat back first, it takes him a little, couple extra seconds to get up. Coming in this match, a little banged up. He's a fighting champion. He works all over the country. And he has no problem coming here to create a win. and this is right now. These guys are just firing off the ropes here. No one's able to land. Oh. Speak of the devil, Robles flush with the drop kick. Outside leg. And the champ kicks out. I was losing my breath there for the minute watching. Oh, yeah, I'm tired just watching. When's the last time you ran the ropes? <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. Same here. Yeah. And here's the thing. You can't, you can't get preoccupied with what's going on outside the ring. You got to be smart when you're chasing him down. Because he'll play possum. He'll lure you in and drop you. The 
Champ going for another chop. Palm full of tongue. And now a palm full of post. Say that 10 times fast. And now Robles getting a palm full of chest. And he has the bite. He'll do anything. He will do anything when you least expect it, no less. Watch out, Robles! Face first! Like a slingshot into the apron. Come on, bring it back, Dave! Yeah. Well, that dive piece looks to go back on the assault. Launching through with a spear! Might be it just like that! Yeah, not that, not that quick. Robles Do kicks out. I know, you watch a lot of shitty wrestling, welcome to the wrestling. Oh, Aaron Rourke giving it to the crowd. Aaron Rourke will give it to the crowd, then turn around and just kick you right in the stomach. No he hesitation, does. no stopping. Does not slow him down. I think he wants to rock. Nick Robles, biggest win up to this point. He did knock off TJ Crawford in a one-on-one -on -one match. A match he earned, by the way, winning the Earn It tournament. Let's not forget the match he had with Vargas as well. Yes. He that, took the big man. One of his first almost, matches ever. Yeah, he took the big man to his limits. Kind of unexpectedly. We didn't expect to see Vargas even go down in that match, but Nick Robles found a way. He did move up to the victory, but I think that kind of sent him on his path. It got him where he is right now. Did you mention... Guys like Vargas, he's been in there worth. Knocked off Angelo Carter, the Money Dragon in the early tournament finals. Wind up beating TJ Crawford, which we just spoke about. Winning the costume rumble, eliminating a veteran, and the man you know well, Liam Davis, and now the biggest match of his life right now. Oh, big slap. What did the five fingers say to the face? You're, you're supposed to say slap, slap. Okay, slap. Thanks, thank you. One, two, got it. Okay. There we go. But then Robles, just as quickly as he got the offense back, he gets stomped into the mat. And just in the nick of time. I see what you did there. I didn't even mean that. No <laughs> pun intended. One of the downfalls of having the long hair is your opponent will use it. 99% of the time, they will use it against you. Aaron Rourke will not hesitate to use any advantage to his favor. We saw it in his match with Bryce. We see it every time he's in the ring. And he's just showing, like, this is too easy for him. Think of where Aaron Rourke has come as well. The I Quit match with Bobby Orlando, the battles with Bryce Donovan. Hell of a career so far. Look at Aaron Rourke right back in on Robles. The moment he got back in the ring, he didn't have a split second to breathe. The dime piece is all over him, and you're seeing the experience really show right now. Well, the headband kind of matches Aaron. His, his get up. Hey, that's the Rocker Boys headband, but you wouldn't be mistaken to think that was Aaron Rocks. It would be different if it was like the Nomi's hat. Yes, that we still have. We still have the Nomi's hat here. We have a handful. We got our, his, their backs to us. So. Aaron's calling for the photographer, though. He's always finding the camera. What no is it, Jay George? Hey, take out nice. He snapped the picture. We're in the background of that. We are. We're <laughs> in the background of that picture. What is he, Jay George, calling the shots? Jay George, we are going to see an action coming up in our main event, eight-man tag. Jay George, the Even Stevens, and Jake Lang, our TV champion, going up against the sweeper, Eddie Gravetti, CPA, Phil Cardigan, and Bobby Orlando. But before we get to the main event coming up next, we got to get through this TV, not TV, Create a Pro Championship match where it's been all Aaron Rourke, it's been all champion, but as I say that, Robles with a jawbreaker. Nobody home on the head kick. Roll go. up. Robles trying to steal one. But Aaron Rourke survives for the time being. Ducks a clothesline. Gives one of his own. Dime piece, perfection personified in full control right now. It's just been all air. The experience is showing. The championship pedigree is showing. He's doing whatever he wants in that ring, except for a, a lariat there. Nobody home. Robo's in for an O'Connor roll. 
able to hold on oh. and then spun out of his shoes. Aaron Rourke, a convincing, no! Was going to say a convincing title defense, but I'm gonna hold that thought. We are gonna truck on through here. And you think that inexperience in championship matches is a big reason why Robles has not been able to sustain any offense? Well, he's Aaron bending the hand it, right now. Aaron just knows what to do, what to bring you down and keep you down. Whether it's dirty, whether it's clean, he's going to do it. He's talking to us. We are kind of we telling. Are, we are, though. We, we kind of were in the middle of telling you. Yes. You also know my name, hey, Aaron. Nobody, he knows our name, but it's just referred to us as commentator. That, I don't expect anything less. Hey, commentator, no, wrestler number two. <laughs> <laughs> but as you were saying before we were rudely interrupted the inexperience of Robles right now in this championship match is it's a big reason why he isn't able to keep consistent offense you just hope that Aaron doesn't do too much of this bite off more than he can chew and give the rocker boy the opening he needs which he might be doing right now by showboating talks spoke too soon maybe here Clash Maybe there is a little opening for the challenger. Robles finally gets out of dodge. Nobody home for Robles. Oh, there's a crossbody. The heart is beating. There is life for Nick Robles. The crowd is cheering for the rocker boy here. We can have a new champion. He gets to his feet and capitalizes. Johnny Clash on cue. You mentioned Aaron Rourke taking too much time. For the time being, it's bit him. Robles finally able to return some offense. Aaron Rourke right back up with an Irish whip. Robles head scissor sends the champion flying. And, and a kip is. up. He oh wants the rock and he is. Big splash there. Suplex bridges into the pin. And the dime piece kicks out. One of the best bridges in the game, without a doubt. That's a LeBron stop for you. Robles tuning up his own fan here in Hicksville. Maybe looking for the shredder. Trying to line him up. Going for it. Nobody home on the shredder. Schoolboy, the champion, trying to get one here. Rocker Boy kicks out. Nobody home on the head kick. Aaron Rourke. Uh oh. Robles elbowing his way out of that one. Cherry Bomb got it. Cherry Bomb, new champion. No. Oh, the way he drove his heels into the mat got all of that pin. I thought that was it. I thought we had a new champion, but Aaron Rourke kicks out. The strength of Robles after all he's been through in this match to get the champion up and drive him down. These guys could fight all night. Robles trying to stay on him though, but sneaky champion, the dime piece with a slick elbow, but he meets a right-handed chop. They're just gonna trade shots. A grueling championship match. I, I, it might be safe to say the dime piece was not expecting to go. Now almost 15 minutes with Robles. Oh, beautiful jabs. That both went upstairs. Robles got caught. But comes right back with another head kick. Nobody home on the right hand. Aaron Rourke spinning elbow. Might not gotten all of it, but did enough. Aaron Rourke oh. flips, drops, plants. Kick out by Robles. Like you said before, the heart is still beating. Nick Robles is still in this. What does Aaron Rourke have to do to retain his title? Aaron Rourke showing a little bit of a disbelief, confusion at the resiliency. Oh, this is a, if he can now, this beautiful split-legged, got caught, but he held on to that heel. Held on to the heel, he's got the ankle. Looking for a oh, figure four. We got Nick Robles, Robles could not hold on. Did not have a good grip there. Shredder, shredder by Robles, but look at the champion. Look at the champion. 
veteran move, knew where he was, got out of the ring. What a match. What a fight by these two. Wait, uh -oh. wait, clash, wait, clash, wait a clash. William, William Davis. Davis. William Davis. Ref's back turn. Kick. We were talking about him before. Robles eliminated William Davis in the Rumble to earn this match. But for the time being, William Davis is on the outside. But look at the way Robles is being contorted right now. Oh my God. The Nowhere body, to go. The body doesn't Nowhere bend away. Go. He's tapping. And he tapped rest. out. He, he tapped out. He tapped oh. out. The distraction by Liam Davis gave him the opening. Liam Davis just could not let it go. And even though Robles disposed of him on the outside, like you said, Flash, it opened a small window for the champ and he just ripped him apart in the center of the ring. And the dime piece is still the Creed of Pro Champion. Thanks to Liam Davis. We saw what Liam did after Liam lost the costume rumble. Just decimating Robles and I got a bad feeling we, might, a we might be seeing that again. Robles just went through hell. I don't know what he has just, left here. I hope he just backs up. No! Liam Davis walking Backstage, and Robles is going to chase him back there. It is time for the main event here at Cap TV Live's Frostbite 2. It is a street fight, eight man tag. And Clash just all started at the beginning of the show where Phil got jumped by the Steves, Jake Lang, and Jay George. No one saw the Even Stevens do. Whoa! Yeah, we're no one saw the Even Stevens over here trying to. Do that to their buddy Phil. And here we go, just bust through the door, open the floodgates. I don't feel safe over here. <laughs> Iris went and it, that, that, that oh. backfired. That backfired, so anything goes, everyone's in the ring. There's Christmas objects everywhere. You got the team of Bobby, Phil, the sweeper, CPA, after Phil was jumped, and now we have Steve Somerset in front of us. Nobody wants that. One, two, Steve, why did you jump Phil in the beginning of the match? Oh, the beginning oh, of the day. There we go. They are getting the presents. That was not nice, Steve. Phil Cardigan looking like rolling in Cole's cash right now. The presents are in the ring. And now Jake Lang is left alone. J. George wants nothing to do with this. Yeah, J. George can easily get in there and break this up. Oh, now, they, yeah, oh. now they do. They're waiting for the reinforcements as the Steves are back to, Smart. to their feet. And Chick Lang takes advantage of Bobby Orlando. And these two go way back. Jake Lang and Bobby Orlando ever since this... I don't even know who this man is anymore. The artist known as Jake Lang just assaulted Bobby Orlando after a tech. Team match. Looks like Jake Lang about to use a present as a basketball. J. George has sweeper and a sleeper hold, and then CPA broke it up. All hell is breaking loose here. Hell is freezing over here yeah, at Frostbite. It, it is also freezing in this, in this this building right now. I don't even know where to right keep up. Right in front of us. J. George, care for a comment. J. George. Oh no. Oh. This is chaos, I don't, Clash, I don't even know where to look. Sweeper, care for a cup. Ow! Meanwhile, in the ring, Jake Lang just taking control of Bobby Orlando, the former Cat TV champion. Yeah, the man who he took the title off, Bobby Orlando, in a street fight just like tonight. And he there's said, the he present. Said, I must present to you this question. So I guess Jake Lang got an early Christmas gift, courtesy of Bobby Orlando. Oh. And then there's the tree. I don't know. It's, it's the best Christmas tree the Steves are going to get. It's a tinsel twister, Yes. some might say. 
Bobby the Elf, what's your favorite color? Yeah, Bobby the Elf might be going back first with the tinsel tree in about a second. I'm not used to seeing the even Stevens like this. No, I, I, I'm not surprised. I never liked these guys. Well, tell us how you really feel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. ah, down goes Bobby Orlando. Dropped onto the tree. Wait, wait, CPA. Like Turn Santa's around, guys. sleigh flying Turn through the around, air. Turn around, guys. Here comes CPA. Double missile drop kick. Sending the Steves flying. So after the chaos we had earlier, things have kind of slowed down, maybe up, as I said, Jay George out of nowhere. Oh, Phil's back in it. Phil's not happy after getting choked. Oh, oh that was beautiful. That was fantastic, Phil. Yeah, he got too excited. Yeah, I don't think he's ever, yeah. Here comes a sweep with a candy cane in yeah. Russian leg sweep with the candy cane. So we got Bob, Bobby down in front of us, as well as Jay George. Is Bobby's foot? Is Bobby's other foot? So he's bringing more presence. Yeah, there's more there. presence. Whoever wrapped these did a fantastic job. Yeah. Let's put Jake Lang through another present. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, watch out, sweep. Sweep. No. Oh. Eddie Prevetti sent flying into the presence. Cover. Someone's got to break this up. Bobby Orlando does. That was very close to the end. And everyone's a legal man. This is chaos. Anybody can be pinned in the ring at any time. There's a Bobby Stabber. And Jake Lang. Oh, no. Jake Lang's in front of us. But then in the ring. The even Stevens just always find a way to work together no matter where they are. The best in the world are back. Got it together. New sweaters, new Christmas sweaters. Very nice. They have a great, they always have great of sweaters. They always change, change a lot. It's like CPA with his ties. And again, they're going to try to do exactly what they did before, but this time it backfired. Uh oh. Yeah, sock time for Mr. Stocking. Mr. Stocko. Mouth full of Stocko. One for you. And another one, yeah, both Steves get a mouthful of Stocko. And who knows who wore that beforehand? Yeah, God only knows. Oh wait, and Jay George with the chair. Oh, oh my oh, oh, oh. goodness. That should, oh, Bobby Orlando just ate that chair. That's right, that was, Jay George is gonna get coal in his stocking. J. George and Bobby. Is that wrapping paper? Wait yeah. A it just, oh, he's got to suffocate. He's trying to suffocate him. Oh, no. They, oh, God. Bobby Orlando sent absolutely wow. flying into the chair, out of the ring. <laughs> I feel there's not much in there. He might, he might need something a little stronger than yeah, that. Yeah, no, I know. That might not do the job. I don't. He's just shoving it in his mouth now, and then he said flying. Oh, but uh, Somerset's back with uh, I saw a nutcracker display, a, a portrait. Where are they finding these things? I think I have that thing on my front of my house. CPA trying to dispose of Somerset. Somerset rips the top. But that's a clip on. You gotta know by now, Somerset. Thanks for coming, Somerset. That's your fault. You should know they're always clip-ons. Well, CPA's coming out of the ring. What's he getting? He's got a bag. He's got uh -oh. a target bag. What's in the target bag? Is it? Oh, no. Is it? Everyone's got a target bag around Christmas time. It's Bambi candy canes. canes! One of the worst things in wrestling you could be dropped on to. Kit canes. Could be worse. He could have sucked the tips and made them pointy. <laughs> and then the wrapping paper from behind. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, wait, Bobby Orlando back in it. Bobby trying to save his partner. Uh-oh. Who, who's getting suplexed here? 
How many more elves? Oh, then Azure. Azure. There's Dancer and Prancer and Donner and what is it? Blitzen? Blitzen. Yeah. Here comes Comet. Comet. Where's Cupid at? We're going to go. Triple suplex. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Triple suplex. I've never seen the ring bounce that high. And I think, uh, I think some set ate most of those candy canes. Oh. Landed right on him. He's going to get a bellyache. One down right now. That took a lot out of Bobby Orlando. See, and Jake Lang could to steal one out of nowhere and a kick out. He's trying. Jake uh, Lang's trying everyone yeah. right now. He's trying everyone. Now going to Phil. And 0 for 3 there for uh, Jake Lang. Super's kind of hiding here in the corner behind yeah, us. So what's Super up to? He's got a present. And now everyone's beating, everyone's just, it's just chaos right now. This with Sweeper. And look at Sweeper. Check the Sweeper with the present. Steady oh. for Betty with the head full of Christmas. Clean up on aisle five. Everybody up, everybody down. This is what the crowd paid to uh, see. You ask and you shall receive. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna clean the candy cane. He's gonna clean the candy cane. He's gonna yeah. help the ring crew. But right now, no his team is nowhere to be found, but then friendly fire, J. George, took took out Azure. Oh no, that's a fight for the for the broom. And J. George again. J. George has now hit both members of the Steves. Sweep disposing of everyone right now. Now it's just one on one with Jake Lang. Oh. And he sweeps out the light. He just wants to clean the ring. Is it so much to ask? He's trying his best. And J. George just keeps throwing more presents in there. Oh, prevent. Oh, oh, Eddie. Oh, oh. God. Yeah, you, you got it. He tries to he, be good at his job. I know. He, he tries too hard to be good at his job. Sometimes it's to his detriment. What do you think the Steve's got each other for Christmas? Probably another sweater. Race. to the face. Steve's are down again. And J. George right in front of us trying to take care of Phil Cardigan. He's eating Phil's cookies. Yeah, he's eating Phil's cookies. And now Just like CPA's Mailman Steve. got Somerset, Azure's on top of Bobby Orlando. Both sent through the presents. What good friends. That's what the holiday time is. And then here comes Jake Lang to ruin the event. And then big goodbye, Jake Lang. Looks like they're setting the table. Probably sending Jake Lang through a present of his own. Three, it's a 3D! Jake oh. Lang! Merry Christmas, Jake Lang! Team Bobby for the win, and Jay, they forgot about Jay George. Now, J. George doing it himself, getting rid of everyone. Look at the ring. Look at the havoc in the ring right now, Clash. I don't there even is. Know. All we another need is another Stocko. All we need is my dad walking around with a big trash bag, <laughs> taking to put the wrapping paper in it when we're done. Oh, and he's feeding him with the cookie. I wanted one of those. Cookie cutter cookie from cutter. Phil Cardigan. Uh oh, J. George, not the spot you want to fall down. He's got another sweater. The thrift store was having a sale. No, oh, J. George. J. George, get out of there, J. George. He still has the cookie in his mouth. And now Eddie Prevetti trying to finish it off. Eddie Prevetti, Phil Cardigan, Bobby Orlando. And that's it. Win it. They are burying J. J. George in debris. It's going to be a lot of work for Eddie Provetti after the show to sweep up. But CPA, Bobby Orlando, Eddie Provetti, and Phil Cardigan victorious.
here in the main event at Frostbite 2. Happy holidays. Alongside Johnny Clash, my name is Jordan DeLuciano. Thank you for joining us here in Hicksville, Long Island, New York, for Cap TV Live, Frostbite 2. First things first, what a main event, am I right? Yeah. Sorry, Frostbite's back!
Yeah.